On problem 3, we're supposed to factor the following polynomial completely. Again, anytime you factor, you always want to look for our greatest common factor first. And so we'll look at each term in this polynomial. They don't share any variables, but they are all divisible by the same number. They're all divisible by 5. So when we factor out of 5, that leaves us with x squared minus 7x plus 10. That's one of the options shown, but that's not completely factored yet. The quadratic trinomial on the inside can be factored using a simple quadratic pattern. First we'll set up our parentheses. We need x's in the front because that's where our x squared comes from. Then our goal is to choose two numbers that multiply to 10 and add to negative 7. If we're going to multiply to a positive number but add to a negative number, the only way for us to do that is to use two negative numbers. Then the two numbers that would multiply to 10 and add to 7 would be 2 and 5. Also, we can't forget to bring down the 5 that we factored out to begin with, and so the correct final answer is letter C. Letter A and letter D were common uh, mistakes, common wrong choices. They are equivalent to the original polynomial, but they're not completely factored.